Welcome back in. It is 644 and we might be able to see something pretty unique here in Maryland tonight. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says several solar eruptions are sending geomagnetic flares towards the Earth. So what the heck does that all mean? Well, that <laughs> just means that we could see the northern lights tonight. But of course, it's going to depend on where you are. The agency says that people as far south as Pennsylvania, maybe even northern Maryland, could see these lights. The organization also says that geostorms could disrupt the electric power grid, GPS, radio and satellite operations as well. So I don't think we're going to see quite uh, that, right? I wish. <laughs> I wish we would see that, but that is mainly for higher latitude regions. Okay. You know, the closer you are to Canada and yeah. the North Pole. Iceland, right? Yes, Greenland? yes, yeah, okay. absolutely. Right. Yep. Uh, but I mean, it is quite a sight to see. I've never seen it personally. Maybe one day I will, but we could see some faint hues of green, maybe different okay. colors out there. A little something. Mainly across our far northernmost rural communities. So Get I go way up. Yes, I say <laughs> that because the closer you are to not only Towson, but also the Baltimore Metro, the more light pollution there is. Uh, so right. that'll kind of make it more difficult to see the hues of the light. Um, but it's going to be quite a sight to see. So Megan, I kind of broke it down right here. So how do we get the northern lights? Uh, there are solar flares that come from the sun and they eject this big cloud of all these different particles and that kind of aims straight towards uh, the Earth's magnetic field. So that's kind of on the uh, very outside of the Earth, so the closest part to space. So these molecules from the sun interact with molecules that are currently in the Earth's magnetic field and when they collide, Wide, they start to kind of move really fast and these electrons once they start to calm down a little bit and relax they release this light which is also known as the aurora borealis so the better opportunity to see this beautiful phenomena will be between the hours of 11 p.m this evening and four o'clock tomorrow morning you can see it's mainly going to be more visible the higher you go, the further north you travel in higher latitude regions. Uh, but we could see maybe our far northern communities closer to the Mason-Dixon line away from the city lights could see some of these uh, light or could see this light show potentially. We are looking at mainly clear skies this evening. Temperature is right around the peak of it. The peak time is at one o'clock tomorrow morning. So after midnight, uh, we could be dealing with temperatures in the lower 70s and then drop off into the 60s as we head into early tomorrow morning. So set your alarm. Uh, I'll be setting my alarm because that's when I wake up for work. So that's uh, you could be seeing that uh, as you head out the door tomorrow if you live closer to the state line. 